This week's show is sponsored by PrintBuyMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and this is... Vincent Vázquez. Hey, I know you as Vinny. Vincent ba- What? Vincent Vázquez, but Vinny, in England because they don't know how to say. Okay, yeah, you've got to speak slowly so that they can understand the, oh, okay. the Espanol. The Espanol, yes. Anyway, yeah, he's come on the show for the first time. Welcome, yeah, thanks thank for being you, here. It's good, man, it's good, man. Um, and if there's any Spanish magicians out here, out there, say hello, you know. Hello, all the Spanish magicians. You puedes ver ahora la review en español también. Aha, yeah, I agree, exactly. Anyway, today's review show, we're going to be reviewing two products. We're going to be reviewing, first of all, Pierce by Gibrizzi Taylor, is that right? Gibrizzi Taylor, yes, at Sands Alliance. And uh, also Unbound by Daryl Davis. So two products to be reviewed today. Then we're gonna announce the winners to last week, or the winner to last week, and of course give away a brand new item as well. Nice. So, I say brand new, it's not a brand new item, but it's a brand new item to give away. Anyway, let's not get caught up. Um, To start off with, we're going to go off with Pierce, because this is going to be quite a quick review today, or this week. And uh, this retails for £14.99. The link is down below. And uh, yeah, Jibber Z Taylor, you've watched the video to this. Yes. I've seen the trick, I've watched it, and uh, I've watched most of the video, but you've watched the most, the main part of it. Illinois, our friend Jibberzy has an amazing piece of visual art that he wants to share with you. Imagine having a piece of organic magic in your arsenal that blurs the line between what's possible and strikes people with absolute visual impossibility. Magic is all about perception. As you start to tap the straw against the cap, the spectator can hear it and see it. Then, all of a sudden, the straw melts through the cap, as if it were a hot nail melting through ice cream. (laughs) Now, as bizarre as it sounds, we all know it must be an illusion, for solid cannot pass through solid. I know what you're thinking. It's not possible unless the cap is not there, because the cap wasn't there to start with. That was just a straw. Have a look at that. Have a look. The cap is always there. Crazy (laughs) popping off, yo. I can't be doing this. This rare effect allows people to look at magic in a brand new way, while still experiencing something completely impossible. Check it out. First thinkings on this video. The first thing about this video is a very nice effect. Also, you can make your own gimmick. Nothing coming inside, but the DVD is teaching you how to make your gimmick. Yep. You can make with two pounds, you make your gimmick. That's good. Is that, good. That's probably the only, well, not saying the only good part, but that is like the One main of, reason you'd yeah. get this is if you didn't want other ones on the market, yeah. then you'd go for this because it is a way of doing it cheaper. You can set it up yourself quickly. Yeah, that, that's, the yeah way that, of that's, that's the good point of that yeah. trick, really. But then the only thing I don't like is you have too many angles, you cannot yep. do it in close up really. So the thing is, if you are in a group of people and the people is around you, you have too many angles, so it's impossible to yep. do that. The only thing you can do is in front of the people and you need to be careful with the angle and the, the position of the bottle and everything. But Right, so people from this point onwards and behind you, you'd say, it's not yeah, out the window. Yeah, out the window. If someone was like this close, would you say you could get away with it? Or do yeah, you... you can get away, but still, yeah, no good. I what think... happens if you have a basketball player here and a very small person here? Oh, it's done. <laughs> it's, it's done. <laughs> How it's often gone. does that happen? But it yeah. did happen the other day at a corporate event. <laughs> had this guy and he was up here looking down at my tricks. I'm like, what? Yeah, so, so no, no. you are in trouble. <laughs> you are in trouble. If... So yeah, in other words. You wouldn't necessarily do it to a massive group of people unless they're all the same heights, unless you could really manage, audience manage those people and where you're doing yeah. it. Um, also, of course, it does give a way of, you can hand out the bottle afterwards. There's a bit of work involved, but you yeah, can but hand the, out the bottle. You can do, yeah. yeah, that's all. The only thing say. I don't like on the DVD, for example, that they don't give you the whole bottle to examine it in the beginning. Yeah. So they should make something on the DVD to examine the bottle on the beginning and also on the back. Okay. When you finish the trick. Yeah. But they just give you to examine it at the end of the trick. It's good, but I will expect <clears throat> like on the beginning as well. Exactly. Now, at the same time, we have to judge this to uh, 
other ones that are already out there, of course, is Skycap which um, I think right now it is unavailable Skycap, but uh, I know when I got that, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think it says somewhere on here, it's like the best one you can get now, uh, not mentioning Skycap, but um, I think in, well, my opinion, without question, it's not the best one. It's not um, the best one, it's nice effect. It's good if you just want to do it basically on the cheap, this is the one. It comes with nothing inside it but a DVD, you have to do everything else yourself. Um, it's very organic because you can recycle everything. Hey, we hate that word organic on the show. <laughs> organic. That's not something we use. That's right. <laughs> Organics for gardening, man. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> recycling things. You can use recycling things. Oh, okay, so exactly. But all in all, I mean, from what you've told me of this, it, for me, total non-worker, I'm afraid. It's not one I'd like to take out to a gig, without question. You might get away with it on a bit of street magic. But uh, the last thing I'd be taking out to a wedding or corporate event would be this bad boy, I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, not for, not you agree with me? I'm yeah, not, I'm I not saying it too you. much. Because no work around. But yeah. I can give you some point if you're doing like a close up magic yeah. for a group of people and you're in a table, so you're going to be in front of yeah. them like two or three meters. So yeah. maybe then it's going to work around. Yeah. And it's well, just, for me, it's just. It's just. It's too easy. It's too. I'm not gonna, we can't say anything, of course, so it really frustrates <laughs> me. But what really annoys me about this, more than anything in the world, is the fact TV rights not included with this purchase. All TV rights reserved and are available from Sans Mayans only. What a load of. If you buy something, you should do that in any place. What about the rights of Sky, uh, of the Sky Cap then? You know, that this is obviously a fair bit of a. Um, not a copy from, but it, well it is, for kind of, it comes yeah, from, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. It's just done in a different way, but it is still essentially the same effect, but worse. Simple as that. Um, so yeah, I hate it when they say no rights. What, what rights have you got to say, oh, you can't use a bottle or a cap? Come on. Anyway, that's my rant over. Yeah. But apart from that, I'd say as an on the cheap sort of way of doing it, on a certain angles you could get away with this, it would look okay. Would I recommend this product? No, simple as that. Would you agree with me? Yeah, I agree okay. with you. Out of 10, let's give it a review because we've given this long enough. Um, <laughs> it's £14.99 and let's give this... I'll give you a three. Three. <laughs> I was going to give it a two or a three. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a three. That's all it deserves. So, three for Pierce. Uh, let's move on. Boom! Yes. Yeah, boom. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the one that we I was very excited oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really nice that one. Boom! Unboxing! I've got to stop saying boom. Yeah, boom. boom. Uh, boom. Unboxing Gimmickless Invisible Deck by Daryl Davis. Now this is a different ball game. This is £19.99 and let's cut to the trailer of this product now. The difference between a coin move that fools and one that doesn't is lack of adjustments. Now the same thing can be said about casualness. And Daryl has added a moment of casualness and it has elevated the effect 200%. I'm gonna show you a bunch of cards. Yeah. I want you to just think of one that you see, okay. okay? Don't think of the five of clubs, that's on the bottom, that's easy. So any, any other one but that that you see, um, go ahead. Okay. You got one? Yeah. For sure, and you could have thought of any of these, right? Now I'm not gonna ask you any questions about these cards. I'm not gonna ask if it's red or black or high or low. Yeah. You ever have somebody really get inside your head before? This might freak you out a little no, bit. Really. Okay, all right, watch. I'm even give it a mix so I don't even have the general idea of where your card could possibly be. And you didn't forget your card, did you, AJ? No, I got it. You got it, okay. Now for the very first, no, before we, I even ask you, watch, let's do something weird. We're going to take it out and we're going to reverse it and put it right back in the center, magically. Mm -hmm. I haven't asked you anything. No. For the first time, what is the name of your card? Jack Berman. Take away and become 
Unbound. And we're back, and that is Unbound by Daryl Davis. Um, my first thoughts, when I first saw this, I thought, ah, this is too good to be true. It, it can't be any good. Yeah. <laughs> and I shouldn't think like that, I know. Um, and after watching it, I saw multiple reactions on the trailer, and I thought, wow, actually, this is going to be better than I thought. And also, I think it's a trick. When you see, you say, it's not going to work. Yeah. But then when you learn the technique and everything, you like more the trick, yeah. because it's more interesting yeah. when you learn it than when you perform. Exactly. So I just saw today, 10 minutes ago, yeah. and it's brilliant. I talked I, him through it, because yeah. I watched the DVD last night. I and, love uh, the technique, I love the way yeah. they do that. Now he says to me that it will take... Uh, well, the thing I love about it most, it's got multiple layers to it, in the fact that at first you'd think, ah, have you just got a certain limited choice here? Or actually, um, how, what happens if the choice isn't quite right and you've got other, you know, it's, I thought there's no way you can give them the option of any of the cards. Yes, you can. You give them an option of a lot of cards and you can make any one of those cards turn the opposite way around in the deck and not just the ones that you think are the, is the last card they might have seen or something like that without going too much into it. So yeah. that, I thought, was phenomenal. And um, it, he does say it will take about two to three months to get to a point where it's something that you can just do without even thinking. Now, I'd probably say that is about right for, for a lot of people. To, to have the confidence to do this in a walk-around environment, it will take a bit of work. Yeah. But what I love about it, it's like Cube 3 and lots of these other things. It's nice to actually have something to put the time in, but I think this is one that if you did put the time in, you would use it at a gig regularly, yes. and it would fool the socks off everyone. And also it can be a yeah. borrowed deck, so you can do with any deck. You yeah. don't need any gimmick, anything. Yeah. Just take a deck, do a And move. it's just a different trick than the usual, um, yeah. pick a card, any card, do this. I mean, their card, exactly like a normal invisible deck, is it's, the wrong yeah. way around. And you don't need to bring with you the invisible yeah. deck. So you yeah. have all the time in your pocket an invisible deck. In your deck, right, we'll go more into this in a minute. Would it replace an invisible deck, in your yeah. opinion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, it will work like that because I like to do. Yeah. I just go with one deck of cards yeah. and do a lot of trick and a yeah. lot of walk around just with one deck without gimmick. So that's the main yeah. things you can do. So if you I can put that in your routine, yeah, and you don't need to use any gimmick, it's brilliant. brilliant. I'm gonna work in that. I I'm gonna definitely work on it. Yeah. I I love this, and I think they both have their place. I think the old school invisible deck is is not obsolete no, by no, this DVD of course, no. yeah. because the simple beauty of having a deck of cards in view, sealed, not sealed, but you know, closed up, and whatever card they say, and you just take them out, and there it is the wrong way around, is a phenomenal effect. Yeah. So don't, you're not gonna give up your invisible deck by using this. This is a way of, not always are you gonna carry your invisible deck around with you, and sometimes you want a different effect, which this allows you to do. It's ever so slightly different, but you get almost the same reactions as they say, the exact yeah, same, if not better reactions, is, which you do. Yeah. Or oh, sometimes, yes, yeah, some people is asking you because you did the uh, invisible deck before, yeah. and they say, "Oh, do that trick when the car is turning around." So if you have this trick with any car, we'll do it in a different way. Yeah, yeah there's lots. We'll do it in a different way. Yeah. It's the same effect, yeah. but a bit different. Yeah, yeah. I so think you can get. I think very good they both work very yeah. well together. Now, what I loved about this DVD is that it lasts two hours. So two hours five minutes. So it's like value for money. Whoa, whoa, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, and you get Alan Ackerman on the DVD discussing all sorts of different ways of doing things. Um, Loads and Stevens uh, order systems. So many different areas that he will go into with different ideas that maybe the ideas are not fully completed or fully finished. However, they give you a very good idea of what you could do. And I'd rather have that on the DVD than not on the DVD, if that makes sense. So the first, I think, 15 minutes is going into the detail of it. Uh, which you will need to get this right. It will take a long time, a lot of practice. However, here's a tip for any of you who buy this DVD right away, is that I tried this with a bicycle deck of cards, which uh, I guess isn't casino grade. It's not quite as smooth as um, the deck of cards that I tried it with today was this one here, the Optrix deck. Now this was a lot smoother yeah. in terms of feel than even a brand new deck of bicycles. Yeah, I think if you use any deck, like for example, you know, the one from Illusion, it or like yeah, yeah. Mason or something yeah. like that, it's a good, you know, more yeah. smooth. So maybe it's working the better. The smoothness will help. Yeah. Uh, and the second tip is looseness of the hands. That's exactly what he says yeah. a million times on the DVD. So uh, that is the thing. 
I found it to work almost first time this morning with this. Yesterday with a bicycle deck I was struggling a little bit and it would take me probably a few weeks. I reckon two weeks time I'll have this down completely. Yeah, so well, I think <clears throat> when you know the technique you yeah. just need to work in that and practice, yeah. practice, practice. So with the time it's going like to go. Like anything, yeah. But it's not a trick you can just take and yeah. do it straight away. Yeah. So it's not that kind. If you are looking for something just to do it straight away, <sighs> yeah, yeah. it's not, it's not it's the not kind that, of thing. No. But if you get comfy with that, yeah. you're going to be you're going to be uh, the talk of the town yeah, pretty yeah. much so yeah. there we go i think we've said enough about this product it is an awesome product it's one we highly recommend and uh, let's give it a re review out of 10. so i i'm sure you've got a number in mind but i know exactly what i'm going to give this yeah um well i say exactly <laughs> between it between eight and a half and nine only because of everything now you can't yeah. ever go ten nine is like the best yeah thing i will give way. eight as well Sorry? Eight. Eight, I think, is, is a good point. Eight? Yeah. Let's go eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right. Eight point <laughs> five out of ten. I mean, that's pretty damn good. But uh, in terms of what would we recommend this, couldn't recommend it enough. Uh, is it a worker once you've learnt it and should it be on the worker's wall, which the link will be here? Well, the worker's wall, yes it should and it's going to be in the middle, middle row of the worker's wall. So you'll be able to see that there check out the trailers and definitely get hold of, hold of one of these. You're going to have a lot of fun and it's cram packed two hours of uh, teachings yeah, with Alan Ackerman good. and all sorts. He's so. talking about a lot of things, so yeah. you can learn about th theory and everything. A lot no, of theory and a lot theory. of work. Yeah. yeah, so brilliant. And a lot of thought has gone into this and it's his first big release, as he says. So, uh, so well done there, Daryl Davis. You've done a great job. And uh, yeah, thank you for releasing this to the magic community. So that is it. That's the end of the review. That's the end of the review. <laughs> okay, tell them what, now we're going to um, put the winner to last week's show, which was for a Valentine's deck. So the last week's winner to this will appear in the show more section, which you must click below this video. Click on that and you'll be able to see exactly who the winner was. Now, we've got a brand new competition, of course, because every week we are giving away something right now. And uh, as per usual, before I even give it away, I've not even thought of what they must do at home, the users you guys to enter the competition. So have a quick think while I tell them about what they're gonna win. What are they gonna do? They're gonna win an equilibrium <laughs> this week. We're gonna send out one of these bad boys uh, out to you. And um, this is a wonderful effect, which we did release last year. It got really good effects, but it kind of went under the radar as well. Um, so it's one that is great for mentalism and it's a way of completely being blindfolded and being able to find a card just by touch alone. Um, but rather than pegging and doing certain things yourself, this is built into the card. It's actual using our Print by Magic printing systems. So it's pretty damn cool, isn't it? Like the Deadly Mark deck. So uh, we're giving away one of these and all you have to do is... Go to the review. <laughs> what? They're on the review. They're watching the review right now. Okay, okay. All you got to do is... Um... <sighs> Tell us what is your favorite trick that you've bought in the last two weeks. So your favorite trick that you have bought in the last two weeks could be from any magic shop. Uh, tell us why it's your favorite and what item it is. Simple as that. How's that? Yeah. If you've not bought a trick, I want you to uh, just let us know in the show more section which trick was it that you actually have learnt from a book perhaps or a DVD. Uh, what trick is your favorite of the moment? Simple as that. And of course, the number one rule is that you subscribe to this channel, if you've not already, and share it with at least one person. Just share it so that more people subscribe and we can grow this channel to be epic. <laughs> it's epic now. It is always <laughs> epic. It is always <laughs> epic. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the Magic World Review Show. I think it's week 47, give or take a week. I've not counted them. I probably skipped one by accident since I first started, yeah. but I think it's week 47. Yeah, So, sure. thanks again for watching. I'm Anthony. This is Bini. Vinny or Vincent? <laughs> or Vincent. <laughs> Vincent. Have a great week. See you later. All right. See you later, guys. Bye. Thanks, my man. <laughs> first that review was, under the yeah. belt. It's the first and not the last one. <laughs> hey, you don't often get to see the glasses. If this is on afterwards, you get to yeah, see. This is the real guy. I forgot Good to glasses. put my lenses in today, so I'm like blind as a bat. I can't even read the writing on it there. And I was like, ah. Did we give the prize to that last one? <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> it is good. <laughs>
I'm not to put like a sheep over that. Like, no, no. This is. Ah, ah, ah. This is. Ah. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Thanks, man.